This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. I'm Cindy Harris. In this episode, I'm going to show you a great recipe for roasted asparagus. When I was at the farmer's market today, I found a vendor that had just oodles of fresh asparagus. Thin spears, medium size, thick spears, anything I wanted. So I brought them home, roasted them up with a little garlic oil, some Parmesan cheese, and a splash of lemon juice. And these are a fantastic way to serve asparagus. Now I'd like to talk for just a second about asparagus and how we trim them. Now these are two asparagus that I got at the farmer's market today and you can see they're very different. This one is a little thinner, this one's a little thicker. You'll notice this one has a lot of white at the end, this one has very little. So let me show you how I go about trimming these. When I pick up an asparagus, you can see it bends in a certain area. And what I do is I just let it snap there. This is probably way too woody. This is gonna be the tender area. So on another asparagus like this one, this is gonna bend about here. Now, if it was the kind of thing that I wanted the asparagus to be all the same length, I would pick one and then I'd trim them. But for this dish, they don't have to be the same length at all. Now, it's really interesting when you trim your asparagus this way, for example, this one is practically green all the way. Just the last little bit at the bottom is going to snap off. But on some of these other ones, the woody parts, we don't really want that. So I'm going to go through my pound of asparagus and just snap off those ends. I'm going to be roasting these asparagus in a, on a rimmed baking sheet. So I'm just going to lay them on like this and now I'm going to make some garlic oil. Now I have a very small bowl here. I'm going to measure out about two tablespoons of olive oil. And in the oil I'm going to mince one clove of garlic. Now I'm just gonna take a moment and mix that garlic in with that oil. And what's gonna happen is that little bit of minced garlic is gonna to totally infuse garlic flavor in that oil. Then once it's pretty well mixed up, I'm gonna take it and drizzle it on my asparagus like this. And I'm gonna take my hands and kind of toss the asparagus around. What I want to do is I want to coat the asparagus all around with a light coating of oil. And then I'm gonna lay these out in a single layer, just like this. I've got a little bit of kosher salt. I'm just gonna lightly salt the asparagus and then use some fresh ground pepper. There, then these are ready to go in the oven and I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees. These are gonna go in the oven and roast for about 20 minutes and then halfway through, I'm gonna kind of move them around in the pan just a little bit. Now after about 10 minutes, I'm gonna use my tongs and just kind of toss those around a little bit. You can start to see that the asparagus are starting to brown just a little bit. Now the way these are cooking here, I'm thinking maybe only about three or four more minutes for these because they're thin. If these were thicker, they'd go for the next, for another 10. Now after another three minutes of cooking, I don't like my asparagus totally soggy, so these look just about the way I like them. What I'm gonna do is kind of gather them up like this. And I'm gonna take some Parmesan cheese. Now, today I have shaved Parmesan, but if you had grated or shredded, that would be fine too. And you just wanna sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese, as much as you like. And then I'm gonna put this back in the oven for just a minute or so until that cheese melts. 
And after a minute or so, that cheese is nicely melted. And uh, now we can go ahead and plate these. Now I'm going to use my tongs and place these on a long platter, just like this. And then the last little finishing touch for these asparagus, I'm going to take a fresh lemon and cut it in half. And I'm just going to put a sprinkle of lemon juice over the top. Well, if you'd like to try these roasted asparagus at home, just go to our website and visit the Farmer's Market show notes, and I'll have the recipe there for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please send me an email. I'll see you next time.